Hi everybody, this is Bleak episode 51. I know it's on time, you guys. Big shocker, right? Cause you <laughs> I wonder when this shit is gonna end though. Seriously. Um, I'm so stressed out right now. You need to relax. You heard what the doctor said. How can I relax? Agatha is going to kill me. If she kills any someone today, I think she'll she'll kill me. I don't care what she thinks. In a few weeks, you'll be 18 and we'll be able to live together. Live together. Just the thought of it makes me feel so happy. I can't wait for this day to come. Uh-uh. Hey, loser. Is your mother here? I need to talk to her. Nope, obviously she's not here. But she should come... She should be home in about an hour. I'm out of here now. You let him talk to you like that? Whatever. This is not the... Uh, this is not the point. Let's wait for her in my bedroom. What? Right. I'm gonna lay on bitch. You crazy. I've been in Custis ass out. I could think of something to fill the time. If you know what I mean. Oh, come on, Lee. I'm not here. Not right now. <laughs> I just want to enjoy my last hours. <laughs> This is not funny. <laughs> what can we do then? We wait, Liam. Wait and pray. <laughs> Meanwhile, Aldo, how are you today? Still clean and bored. I know it's not easy, but you can do it. I know. Actually, I'm doing it for my friend Jen. She needs someone to talk to. I come and see her every day for about a month. She's my only friend now and I can't let her down. Come on, I'm sure she's not your only friend. She is. Blake will never want to talk to me again. I went too far. I tried to make Liam cheat on her. I'm a terrible person. No, you're not. And you're not, you were not in your right mind. Will you do this now if Liam was in front of you? No. I wouldn't, I wouldn't try anything. See, you're not that person anymore. You're your old self again. Yeah, maybe, but it doesn't change anything. Blake and Liam still hate me. I'm sure they don't. <clears throat> Trust me, they have other things to deal with right now. I'm sure they'll come back to you sooner or later. What do you mean? Are they okay? Yes, they are. Then why do you say that? Say what? I know what you're not. I know uh, what you're not. What are you not? Wait, I know you. Oh, I know you. What are you not telling me? I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing. Aldo. Oh, please, Joanne. I'm not supposed to tell anyone. Tell anyone what? You're already talking too much. I swear I'm going to harass you until you tell me what's going on. <coughs> you know I'm serious. Fine, but you have to promise that you will shut up. You can't talk about it to anyone. It must remain a secret. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just so <coughs> Blake is pregnant. <coughs> what? <laughs> you heard me. They're having a baby. Oh, my God. Are you sure about that? How can you know? Liam told me. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Is he? Is he okay with it? And how's Blake? How long has she been pregnant? I don't know, for months probably. And I'm pretty sure they're both fine and actually happy about it. I can't believe it. Why? Are you jealous? Would you like to be the one carrying Liam's baby? God, no. I'm not ready to have a child. I'm just sad. Sad not to be able to share these moments with them. With those moments with them. Blake used to tell me everything. I mean, I know. I mean, I was the first person to know about her stepfather. I used to be the person she talked to when she felt sad or stressed out. And now, I'm nothing. But I can't even blame her. It's all my fault. I'm sure they don't hate you, as I just told you. They have a lot of things to deal with. 
between Pablo and their up what well, the upcoming baby. Yeah, maybe you're right. And they haven't told anybody what the fuck. Besides, well, Liam big my past clearly told her how though. But I'm home clearly. Whoop, whoop. Hey Blake, Liam, we we need to talk to you. What is it? If you're here to ask me to stay at his place again, then no, it's not about that. It's, it's it is more important than that. I'm listening. I know you're not going to be happy, but I have uh, but I have to tell you, I'm pregnant. What? <laughs> It's not so bad. I can take care of this baby soon. Soon I'll have... I'll have 18. What? And I'll be rich. Okay. Not so bad. Are you kidding me, Blake? You're way too young to have a child. What about your future? It's going to ruin your life. No, it's not true. I have time to think about it and I want to keep it. That's what I want the most. You don't know what you're talking about. Okay, girl. <laughs> you have a bright future. This money is supposed to help you go to the best university and not raise a child. She's a fucking billionaire. I don't know how much you think fucking college costs, bitch. But she's going to have way the, more than enough to go to college. She, she can buy fucking colleges and still have money left over. Hey, don't raise your voice at her. You shut up. Oh, damn. What the hell are you thinking? How could you get her pregnant? Don't you know how to use a condom? This this is not your business. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. It's my duty to protect her. It's my duty to please that booty. I'm sorry, y'all. I had to. <laughs> and right now, she's doing the, the biggest mistake of her life. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You have no idea how... How it is to raise a child. Do you really think he'll help you? Oh. You're going to be stuck with this baby for the rest of your life. You're going to ruin your future. This is enough. We're leaving. Come on, Blake. She's not going anywhere. She's under my responsibility. And I'm going to let her stay with you. Well, oh, and I'm not going to let her stay with you. She needs to be calm and relaxed. What she needs is to get an abortion. Oh, bitch. You then crossed the That's not for you to decide. Come on, Blake, we're leaving. That was a hell of a fight. It sure was. My mom will never forgive her. Who the fuck is your mom? Like, I, I hate to be the one to be, you know, real. I know you moved across the world and everything, but bitch, who the fuck are you? Bitch, I don't even, I legit still don't know you, bitch. You have no fucking say-so and shit. Technically, you have say-so, but bitch, I don't give a fuck. Fuck you in your life, bitch. I know you. Hey. I I don't like Agatha, bitch. She, she acting like Blake, like... Blake remembers her, and I know you did all this when she was a kid, but bitch, you didn't raise her. Like, bitch, she didn't been getting raped and all type of crazy shit. Yo, at where the fuck was you at, Agatha? Please don't fucking cry. She's not going to support me. I thought she would be like a mother to me, but I was wrong. I'm alone. What are you talking about? You know I'm here. I know, but you're my boyfriend. Not it's not the same. I wish I had someone who took care of me like a mother. But no one wants me. Aw, Blake. I'm a disappointment to everyone. I forbid you to say such thing. Such a thing. It's not true. Your mother was a bitch. She never deserved your love. And if Agatha doesn't want to support you, then she doesn't deserve you either. Neither. If she can't understand that it's what you want, that's her problem. A few weeks, Blake. Only a few weeks until you get your inheritance. Who cares what she thinks? I know you're right, but it's not easy for me sometimes. Besides you, I have no one else. What if something happened to you? I will be alone until the end of my life. I lost Tom and Jen. 
I lost Joanne. I have no mother, no father. And now Agatha hates me. She's the only family I had left. If it wasn't for you, I would be alone in all of this world. I'm not going anywhere, Blake. I'm sure, and I'm sure Tom and Jen will realize that they miss you soon. As for Joanne, I'm sure she already regret everything she did. You're not alone. And soon we'll be three. Soon we'll be stuck for at least 18 years with our little cute, boy, with our cute little boy. <laughs> I tell you, it's a girl. See, you're smiling. Dry those tears. I don't want to see you cry. You cried enough when you were young. Now I'm happy. To... Now wait. Now I'm here to make you happy. And she's still fucking you. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm so lucky to have you. I love you, Blake Turner. <laughs> and it's never going to change. A few hours later. Oh, Tolucci. Lucy Tolucci. Hey, Mom. Oh, I'm surprised you're not outside. No, I'm with Blake, but she's sleeping right now. Actually, I need to talk to him. Can he wait until tomorrow? I'm exhausted. No, I don't think he can wait. What did you do this time? Nothing. It's not what you think. Then what is it? Can't you stop doubting me for once? I don't know. It's hard to do. Uh, you know, when your son is always involved in illegal activities. I'll tell you it has nothing to do with that. It's about me and Blake. What's going on? We're having a baby. What? <laughs> Blake is pregnant. <laughs> oh my God. Please don't yell at me. I had enough for today. Trust me. I, I don't know what to say. Are you going to keep it? Yeah, Blake really wants this baby. What about you? Well, to be honest, I wasn't that excited at first. But when I saw it on the ultrasound, man, I heard the heartbeat. It changed everything. I think I'm ready. How far along is she? 14 weeks. Oh, God. <laughs> Liam, you can't raise a child and be involved in illegal activities. I know, Mom. I know. And soon it's going to change, trust me. I know it's hard to believe, but I've changed. I want to be a better man. I want to have a normal life. I know I made a lot of mistakes, but I want to change. This time I want to make things right. I really want to. Oh, Liam. <laughs> I know you probably don't even believe me after everything I did. Aww. Salute, I believe you. You don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. So, you're not mad at me? Of course not. I love you, Liam. You're my son. You're my you're everything I have. I was just so worried about you. I'm your mother. I want what's best for you. And I'm glad you finally realized that you can't lead this life forever. You're not even going to lecture us? No. I know what you did for her. I know how much you love her. She's the one for you. I have no doubt. I'm so happy that you chose her and not one of those random girls that you used to bring home. I can't believe I'm going to be a grandmother. Ah, Salucci. I'm so happy. Oh, the Lucci. Meanwhile, oh, uh, here go Agatha hating ass. This hating ass bitch. Why she go about? Why she, this bitch about to call the feds? I know this bitch. She up to something, man. Honey, why are you walking around with the fucking light off? What are you doing up so late? I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. Wait, I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing up. Blake is pregnant. What? She's pregnant, and that little idiot wants to keep it. Oh. <gasps> Bitch, you just got a little idiot. She has no idea what she's doing. And her boyfriend has her wrapped around his finger. Whoa. Calm down, please. How am I supposed to calm down? She's way too young to have this baby. Where is she? She's with her stupid boyfriend. What do you think? I'm I'm not going to let her ruin her life. Trust me. I'm the one who's in charge of her. I'm going to call the cops and tell them that she left home. They'll bring her home. 
No, you're not going to do that. I knew this bitch was trying to call a feds. I know a fed caller when I see him. Hey. <laughs> don't be like your sister. Don't do this. Uh, don't do to this poor girl what your sister did to her daughter. It has nothing to do with my sister. I'm not kicking Blake out. What's your plan? You want to force her to come home and get an abortion? Is that better than what your sister did? Bitch, you ain't about to force me to get shit, bitch. You can kiss this ass. What am I supposed to do, Richard? Let her. I'm. I'm I, I wait. I'm supposed to take care of her, but since I'm here, it's like we drift apart. You know why it's happening. You declare war to her boyfriend. Have you seen him? Seriously, do you really think he's a good man? I think he is. What? Oh, you must be kidding me. I can see he's always there for her. He drives her to school every day. He spends his weekends with her. And she still has good grades. So I guess he's not a bad influence. Fucking stupid Aggie. It's not your this it's not for you to decide who she must date. Tell him. Richard, come on. Give give me. Alright, Richard, give her. Come on. Come with the good shit, Richard. You're supposed to be there for her, to be understanding. Have you ever tried to listen to her? Did she say? Did she have a chance to tell you why she wants to keep this baby? No. Make the make fucking Agatha feel stupid, mm -hmm. fucking Richard. No, get the fuck out of here. People be so thirsty. Like I don't know your random ass. I don't want to cuddle with you. What the fuck? You know I, that I love you with all my heart, but when you act like that, I don't understand you. That poor girl has was abused by her own mother her whole life, and I don't even want to think about what that son of a bitch John Biterman did to her. Biterman or Bitterman? I don't... Biterman sounds better. Um, if this baby makes her happy, then you don't have the right to blame her. I think she's smart enough to decide what's good for her. She's so young. What the fuck does that mean? I know. Trust me. I know that. But please don't try to break her happiness. Please at least talk to her. Fine. I will. Good. I like Richard, y'all. Kudos to motherfucking Rich Rich. Oh, hit this bitch going to throwing up again. God damn. How long does fucking morning sickness last? I thought I was done with the vomiting. Me too, shit. Oh, you know what? First trimester. Uh, we still have to tell her about the baby. Hey, Lucy to Lucci. Okay, can about to say camera? Come on now. Oh, Blake, I'm so happy for you. Why is that? Liam told me about the baby. He told you? <laughs> yeah, we had a good conversation last night. So, you're happy? Of course I am. You've changed my son, Blake. And I'm going to get to be a grandmother. I'm more than happy. I love Tolucci, you guys. Now tell me, do you tell uh, Agatha the news? Yeah, and she's not very happy. She wants me to get rid of the baby. What? Look, she can't force you to do that. You're the only one who can uh, take that decision. I want to keep it, but she's so mad at me. I don't think she'll forgive me. I think she just needs some time. I'm sure she'll be happy for you once she gets used to the idea. I'm not sure about that. No matter what she thinks, I want you to know that I support you. And my home will always be yours. You can always come and stay here if anything. Thank you so much. I feel like that sentence was incomplete if anything happens. Thank you so much. One message from stankin' ass Agatha. Blake, uh, Blake, can you come home please? I need to talk to you, just you and I. Is there something wrong? It's Agatha. She wants to talk to me. Then you should go home and speak with her. Yeah, I guess. Do you want me to drive you? 
Yeah, I love to. Then let's go. Hey. Hey. Look, I'm sorry about yesterday. I'm just worried about you. I want what's best for you. I know, but you don't know what I want. You're not in my head. You're so young. I just want to protect you. Why do you want to keep this baby? Why can't you wait to be a little older? It can't be explained. I just know that it's that's what I want. <sighs> I want to be a mother. I know I'm ready for that. How can you be so sure? I don't know. It's just what I want the most. I already lost the baby. I won't get rid of this one. Blake. I know it must be hard after everything you've been through. No, you don't know. Everyone seems to think that it was easy to lose my baby because of the way it was conceived. But this baby is a part of me. And I killed it when I tried to kill myself. If Liam didn't come, I would be dead. I thought I was going to die. That's what I wanted. Do you know how much I suffered when I woke up? Hell no. No, you don't. Only Liam knows. I cry every night from shame and sadness for months. But now, finally, I'm feeling good. And I have the chance to have Liam's baby. The love of my life's baby. I'm happy, Agatha. Finally, <laughs> that's all I can tell. I can't explain it. So you're really sure that's what you want? I've never been so sure in my life. And I wish I could have your support. I'm sick of fighting. All I want to, all I want is to be happy. What can I say? Seems like you've uh, made up your mind anyway. I just think you could have uh, had a greater career, a great career, and a bright future. Well, maybe I don't want a great career. I don't want to be uh, the best lawyer or doctor. I just want to be a mom. I want to have children. I want to raise them with the love. With, well, wait, with all of my love. With all my love. I want to have what I never had. A family. I know this will make me ten times more happier than having a big career. Are you really sure about that? Bitch, yes. What? Are you sure you won't regret it someday? Oh, I'm more than sure. Trust me, I had time to think about it. I know it's the best. I know it. It is. Oh, this is best for me. Sure, I'm tired as hell. Then I guess I was wrong, and I will support you. I don't want to be like my sister. I just need some time to get used to it. Thank you. I don't like Agatha. I just don't give a fuck. I don't like Agatha. Meanwhile, oh, who this Joanne about to go run her motherfucking mouth? Yep. Hey, Joanne. I need to talk to both of you. What's going on? It's about Blake. What's, ooh, Joanne. This is not your fucking. See, I cannot stand a bitch that like to go tell somebody else's business. This is not your business to tell what's going on. Like. Okay, what's going on? I think we need to talk about Blake. It's time to make peace. I don't think so. Not as long as she's with Liam. Well, I think you should change your mind. Otherwise, you won't ever talk to her. Why is that? Because she's pregnant. What? What? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Liam told it to one of his men. We should be there for them. I know a lot of things happen between all of us, but we love them. At least I do. And I want to be there for them. I can't believe it. I can't forgive Liam. Baby, we should talk about that. It wasn't his fault. He put Blake's life on the line and you got hurt. I know, but he never wanted this to happen. He couldn't uh, guess what was going to happen. I don't want to lose Blake. Neither do I. Y'all, all of y'all kiss my motherfucking ass. We're talking about your sister, for God's sake. Don't you want to see her? Don't you want to meet your nephew or niece when the baby comes? Fuck all of y'all. Let me tell you something. Joanne, fuck you. Because, bitch, when you was... You was a dirty bitch when you was high, okay? 
But you know what? And fuck you because you out here running your mouth in these streets telling my motherfucking business. People telling people I'm pregnant and that ain't none of their goddamn concern or your shit. And Jane, well, what the fuck is her name? Jen and fucking Tom, fuck y'all most of all. Especially you, Tom. Fuck you most of all, bitch. Liam has done some mistakes in the past, but not a, but he's not a bad person. He never wanted uh, Jen to be hurt. And if he's going to be part of Blake's life forever, don't you really want to miss everything because of your feelings towards him? Fuck Tom, bitch. That's your sister. That first of all, you done already missed out on all of y'all lives together, and that's your fucking sister. Then you want to stop talking to her for some shit. Her boyfriend got her get your girlfriend in, and they didn't even know. Like, get the fuck out of here. Come on now. Do you, uh, okay, whatever. Don't you want to be a part of this baby's life? Hell no, I don't want y'all to be a part of the baby's life. Y'all can all kiss my ass like I said. (laughs) Or maybe you want to be like your father and just let her down like she's nothing. I'm not like him. Oh, really? Are you really not? Then prove it. Prove it and forgive them. Fuck y'all. She's right. We should forgive them. They never wanted to hurt me. Blake's my best friend. She's your sister. She and she chose Liam. And if we love her, we have to accept it. It's been a month, Tom. I miss her. Not seeing her hurts me more than what that guy did to me. <laughs> Bitch, Jen, you was just so fucking fine when I seen her in the first place. Now all of a sudden she pregnant and you just so hurt that you can't get the fuck out of here. Kiss my ass, all of you hoes. <sighs> So, Tom, the choice is yours. I'm in. I want to see her. So, I don't want to see Liam, but I guess I'll try to forgive him. Thank you so much. To be continued. I hope you guys enjoyed that shit. I don't like it. And I'm not saying I don't like the story. Because I'm like, I'm getting back into the story. Because it was getting boring there for a minute. Now it's back on track. I don't like the fact that Joanne didn't went and her, ran her motherfucking mouth and telling Blake business. I don't like that. Where I'm from, you get popped in your fucking throat. For telling people's business. You, that's, just, that's just how it works. And, like, myself personally when I got pregnant I didn't tell anybody that I was pregnant until I was six months like when when I came out and told the whole public I was six months pregnant and like I was getting big as hell like it, it it was like I had to tell people like I just looked you could tell I was pregnant but I used to wear like bigger clothes so nobody could really tell but that was nobody's goddamn business so I don't like the fact that she didn't run into her mouth and I don't like the fact that Bitch, all of a sudden, Tom and Jen, all of a sudden, y'all just want to see me so motherfucking bad, bitch. And, girl, get the fuck out of here. All of a sudden, they just want to see her so fucking bad because they found out she pregnant. Like, no, fuck out of here. I don't like this. I don't like it. Hope you guys enjoyed the story. Let's get down in these comments and get to having conversations, y'all.